What's your favorite game of 2015? <laughs> My favorite game was Lester. <laughs> <laughs> Played him like oh, crazy. Geez. We're not, but it's just very ironic. No people who are here. Who's this guy? Figgy Fourth, whatever. <laughs> Who's this motherfucker? <laughs> your, your video is going on. All the links to today's videos will be in the description below. What up, YouTube? This is Nate, Lester, Ian, and we're coming at you in 720p on Retro Gaming's most dangerous <laughs> podcast. You don't know what we had to do to get this video to like sync up to our voices. Was it a lot of work? Yes, it was. It was like 15 minutes worth of uh, testing, which video you'll never see. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, we're going like, Nyeh. you know what I mean? Anyways, how you been? This Sorry? Struggles real. <laughs> Last year, always struggles. How's everything good? Good, good. Busy. Busy. We gotta actually get him to work, so look at this dude's face. It's like on our screen. Yeah. yeah. You are featured in a Thrift Dweller podcast. I've never heard of you before. Random video select. Oh my god. So we got really nothing to talk about, but I just I was thinking about it. We really should encourage the people if you want us to talk about something, please ask us a question below. It gives us content of something we can talk about. Why don't yeah. we read out uh, comments then? Comments? Yeah, there you go. Well I was gonna do the first No? Well we can do that. Let's okay. do that as our editorial piece. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. Okay, I gotta pull it up now though. But it's like reading mean tweets. <laughs> mean tweets. A couple mean tweets. <laughs> To be honest, we actually don't have like an agenda today except for this guy. Yeah, hanging out, man. Broing out, as uh, Joe Rogan would say. If you guys don't watch his podcast, the Joe Rogan Experience, funny. there's a lot of people that follow that podcast. Yeah. Are you laughing at all? Well? Sorry, technical difficulties. We have to restart this. Okay, we uploaded. Uh, we have a video here, our last Monday Nitro pickups that Ian yes. shot. Hopefully you liked it. Lester, what were you saying? It was funny to you? Oh, it was funny. I was just laughing at my desk. Usually uh, when I watch Thrift Alerts at work and uh, yeah, some of the jokes that we do, I never get to see it until the day that uh, they get posted on the internet. So I'm just laughing, giggling like a little girl at my desk. Yeah, oh, I've done that a few times. What a plug, eh? We're, we, this segment, the first segment that we always do in our podcast is we talk about other people's channels and the first one we'll talk about is our own. <laughs> No, there's a whole, like, game hunting that goes to that at the beginning of the day. Yes. Which I'm still editing. Uh, it. Yeah. There was a good uh, topic of discussion that uh, the Coleco Chameleon that people wanted to hear our opinion about. And I think we've no, pro- I we, won't, we won't talk about it here. Nate talk, talked about it in depth on on the road while we were doing our pickups on, was that Saturday? Saturday? Yeah, no, I have it. Yeah. It's its own, it's like 20 or 15 minutes of just talking. Yeah. About it. So that'll be there if people are interested in our... Thoughts on the Coleco Chameleon. <laughs> Not much thoughts, though. Yeah. It's like, you don't care. No. Mm-hmm. Let us know what you thought. Is Are you justified by saying, I guess a big fuck you to that Mike Kennedy guy? Do you blame Gamester81? Are we allowed to blame him? Comment yeah. below. Let us know. Yeah. Anyways, second video I was going to talk about. Lester wanted to bring this topic up before about gamer fatigue. And if you've seen Pete Dore copying Thrift Dweller... What? <laughs> he went on a break. From yeah, that's our there. thing. That's our thing. We're known for breaks. Eh? The we take winter breaks. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Pete Dore, after seven years, taking breaks. We're hibernating, man. You know? I'm just saying. It's a pattern. <laughs> I'm Co- kidding, obviously. Copy <laughs> you know? I always thought it was just a mid-season. What is, what is gaming yeah. fatigue, Lester? Tell us what uh, it is. Gaming fatigue is when you just get bored of everything. You just have so much to just play that it's to the point where... You get tired of it. Really Are you bored of Is gaming it? right now? Is that what not anymore? Of Street Fighter came out, <laughs> but See, uh, like... <laughs> there there was a stretch where I just didn't play anything. Yeah, at all. I can definitely relate to that because when I'm on day shift, I get off early. Yeah, I come home, I kind of sit and relax, and then my wife and my son they get home, and I don't play games when he's around. We kind of just like hang out and play with him. And then when I'm on evening shift, I get home late, like around 11 at night and I just want to relax and then I, I look at all my games I'm like what do I want to play <laughs> what do I want to play do you play half your retro collection not right now exactly. but yeah. the thing is no. I don't have the, I don't have my own personal space for that yet set up yet but yeah like I said the gaming fatigue I look at everything I think I want to play these but uh, I don't really want to so I end up just vegging on the couch watching Netflix you think we're just are we just oversaturated with the internet like I used to play a lot of retro back in the day when I first mm-hmm. started collecting 
But it's like it's retros everywhere on my Facebook feed, on my Instagram at Thrift Nate. Yeah, you know, it, <laughs> it could be that. I, I think I'm just uh, oversaturated with it that I don't play yeah, it anymore. It's just well, how I said it to other people when I tried to explain it, especially to uh, my buddies I play online, Evan. We had an actual argument about it. Mm-hmm. Um, so the point, like, when did you peak for gaming? Oh, and when, geez. Yeah, when people asked me, I was like, man, I was like, when I peaked between the ages of 18 and 21, all I played was PlayStation 2, like, 24-7. Well, that's and what everyone Xbox. says. is like, yeah. you get all your gaming, your music, yeah. whatever, yeah. when you're in your early 20s. Yeah. yeah. That's all so, you need for your whole life. And, like, when you tell people about gaming fatigue and stuff, they get pretty upset. Oh, you're not a real gonna, gamer. Yeah, that and... That's never gonna happen to me, man. It happens, man. It happens to everybody. Like, well, you know what? There, are, I guess there are those people who that's it's all they do every day, and they're satisfied with that. But does it to them? I don't know. Does it become kind of a? I don't. A I don't want to say chore, but yeah. are, are they just just stuck in that? Just kind of okay. This is my time. I got to sit down and play for like five, six hours. Is I don't know. Imagine like you it's say like, you have a Twitch. I used to do that. You're an associated yeah. Twitch account, right? Yeah. You have to game. And then people are you have to, you. but I guess part that, that kind of, I would be uh, I'll be like man that sucks. That kind of makes it more exciting though because you can actually interact with people on there. Maybe, but you know? I mean, wouldn't you be like say you don't feel like gaming, but like oh I have to because I'm on a Twitch schedule. Yeah, yeah. I guess That's so. Like, that would suck. That could be that. Yeah, just a thought. I, I think it's a real thing. All right, on the same can I go on ahead the, go on the same subject of gaming fatigue because I'm sure we've all experienced it. And Lester just brought up a point like now Street Fighter Five's out, oh, he's back yeah. in the gaming like. Is there a game for you that, that, that brought you back? Street Fighter Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me and Lester. I, I'll put videos of our Street Fighter. We're still learning, technically, Lester and I. So we really suck at it. Yeah. But we're learning, <laughs> you know. Uh, us. Remember, LP2000, Thrift Roller 8, man. Battle Lounge, eight. we'll do it. <laughs> if you want to let us know, we'll yeah. put it up there. Find us. Martello Gaming going down. Like, yeah. for me, I kind of... What's yours? I You never stop, right? though. Well, no, see, I, oh. I, I don't... I don't know. I don't play that much. Like I said, I kind of just get tired and then I end up watching Netflix, like just yeah. watching series all the time. <laughs> but <laughs> but oh, I, uh, it's funny. with Bravely Second coming out for yeah. the 3DS in a couple months, I really wanted to get that. And it's been like over a year since I played Bravely Default. Oh, RPGs. And I, never, I didn't finish it because... Let's for, talk about yeah, RPGs. For, for, for people who know Bravely Default and who played through it completely, like at the end there, there's kind of this stuff where it kind of gets repetitive, yeah. right? So I, I stopped playing for, like I said, over a year. And then I kind of just forced myself, okay, I'm yeah. going to pick it up, I'm going to play, I'm going to figure this out. And I did, so I beat it, and now I'm just trying to get everything in it. And that kind of, I know it's a handheld, but it kind of got me out of my funk of not playing something. Oh, you know, like not investing my time into something. Yeah, you know what, the, I don't have time to play RPGs anymore. No. <laughs> I have to admit, man, I, I'm like, I'm going to play Lost Odyssey this year. <laughs> okay, four discs? So, like, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of work. See, for I Bravely think, Default is a handheld. I can bring it to work. Yeah, I can play true. it on my breaks. That's true. On my breaks at work, I'll either be reading novels or playing a handheld game. Say know? say if we were in a gaming funk now, what game coming out? We'll start with Lester. Mm-hmm. What game coming out do you think will get you out of your gaming funk? Or what game? It's really what game. Like just imagine Street Fighter's not out right now. Gears 4. <laughs> Gears 4. I've been <laughs> waiting, man. He's, he's debating. like He wants to get an Xbox I One and too. just for that game. Comment below. Yeah. Xbox One should he get for one game? Ian's talked That's me out I of did. it. Yeah, Ian's <laughs> talked me out of it because obviously, if he ends up getting it, I'll be here. I only live across yeah. the street. So what about you, like, Ian? What are you? What game are you looking forward to coming up? There's a few to get you out of your slump. Get me out of my slump, kid. Okay, I'm on a slump right now. Well, just going back to what I said, I guess it would be Bravely Second would be one of them because I do really want to play it. It kind of Bravely Default brought me back to the old school like Final Fantasy RPGs, you know. Like the the Heroes of Light type thing, you know. I don't know. The <laughs> game's coming for me. Zelda, if that ever comes That's out the, on the NX. See, they kind of they show uh, footage of it. I was like, damn, yeah. I want to play that game. And it's the financials too, though, man. We live in Canada. Games are freaking expensive. Games are expensive. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. All right. So we didn't really talk about Pete Dor's video. We just <laughs> no, I've never watched. <laughs> you want to bring so it back up? Yeah, not really. There's not. He just said he's back. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's nothing. Cool. How long was the break? break? Oh, I don't follow Pete Dor. <laughs> I just noticed the other video. I don't, you know who he is if you watch a lot of YouTube like me. I don't follow him necessarily. One person that I do follow in a world of barren gaming historian, whenever he comes up with a video, it's like it's an event. You yeah. see it? Yeah. The recent video? Yeah. The Blockbuster Nintendo yeah. Wars? Which was awesome. I liked it. Did you like talking about it, Lester? It just brought back a lot of memories. Like, wow. Like, 
the nineties were really cool. <laughs> <laughs> they were. I miss but that. Uh, well, I miss that. Yeah, it was to the point where I was like, wow, Nintendo's such assholes. Know, assholes. Especially back then, because it was just kids playing Nintendo. It wasn't, you know, the the demographics now how everyone has the money. Back then it wasn't. Like but like that. growing up for us, Ian, right? Renting was huge for our yeah, okay, we would I, not I was play half the games we had. We had a store down the street. I never rented from there. I think I rented games twice from there, and it's like really a thirty second walk. Yeah. We weren't allowed to like rent. Games, I rented really. tons. My yeah. parents used to own a restaurant mm-hmm. beside Wizards Video on Be- on uh, Notre Dame. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I would, every day I get to rent the game. Yeah, because we were really good friends with them. Sometimes they just give me a game to rent for free. Oh, speaking of I renting tons games, of games. games. Oh. do you see that post that uh, I can't remember who it was posted? Asian to. Sleepy. Asian Sleepy posted to our. our Facebook page, he he has a game that's from a Rogers video, which is a rental place on just Regent? in there's Portage, the one yeah. down Portage. Um, he got it he wherever got it he's from. Where he's from, and it's got that. It's a big secret for where yeah. he's from. He's like the Simpsons of YouTube. <laughs> I'm from, and he puts like stars. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Asian Sleepy. Where are you from? Yeah. Springfield, Ohio. Yeah. We know, we know. Yeah. No, that's kind of cool. How but that's neat. It's cool. all the way that's there, cool. though. That's crazy, man. Like, like and just having the label for like, yeah. yeah I'm gonna, you know, Asian Sleepy, send it back to us. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll find the same copy of that game and bring it back to you. It's huge. No, renting was huge for me. That's why I played. I played tons of games. All yeah. rental. Never owned. That's why when I had money, I had to buy all these games. Yeah. That store went out of business late '90s, and should have. I should have bought a lot of games from there. Yeah, they you, sold. You never know. You I was no. I was still in yeah. like junior high. Yeah, I had a job yet. Mm-hmm. You know, don't you wish you could go back in time and like buy, buy everything? <laughs> yeah. Everything. Everybody wishes they could. Because that was at the height of when nobody cared about cartridge games anymore. Yeah. And people like Lester only cared about PS2. Yep. That's all I bought, man. Damn. Disc base is the future. But anyways, oh, did you see the video? Sorry. No. Oh, gaming store. Oh, you no. have to watch it. He, it's like Nintendo wasn't really happy with the whole lending thing because they would lose money, right? Mm-hmm. And Blockbuster was huge and they were the biggest name. But it's cool how gaming historian he starts in Japan. Yeah. With me, uh, he goes really in depth with the it's history like, of it. The history of it, yeah. Gaming historian is a really good video guy who makes videos. He has like a staff now. Does like he? one guy that does research for him. Nice. Really? Yeah. Brought to you by the Patreon <laughs> people, whatever. But no, he has good videos. I like the quality of his videos. He's one of those like higher end people that I actually follow because I don't necessarily follow mm-hmm. a lot of higher end people. I follow two: angry video game nerd and gaming historian. I don't watch a lot of Alpha Omega Sin. You watch him? No. I've seen a few. Of his, I like his videos. He's yeah. Very... I don't follow him, though. Yeah. I don't know. What do you like about him? I don't know. It's very poignant and, like... Opinionated. Opinionated, well-spoken, yeah. like... Yeah, yeah, he has a good voice, too. You know? Uh, Game Chasers, I watch occasionally, their videos. When you first introduced me to them, I kind of watched, like, a few of them. I was like, this is cool. It's neat. But it's yeah. like... You're watching reality TV, right? Well, that's Eventually, you kind of get sick of it. You it's know, because cool it's about retro games. Yeah, they're talking to more of a mainstream type audience. Yeah, you know, not necessarily directly to us, even though we are involved with in it. Yeah. yeah, you know, they have good production though. You can't yeah. argue with game yeah. chasers. They make good videos. Yeah. So whatever. Um, what else could we talk about? Other video. Oh, the new gaming. Hold on, I'm gonna start that again because I'll edit out the way I scratched my head. <laughs> There's a new. Uh, 64 bit Matthew video. Oh, I didn't watch it. Yeah. What? I didn't watch it. Man. Closest Sorry, to Matt. the pin? He texted yeah. me like when he put it up, and it was like I think it was like, kind of nighttime, and I just I still haven't watched it yet. I keep forgetting about it. Basically, gaming gladiators. Explain to the people, Lester, what is it? Uh, it's Matthew versus his friends. It's on any it's my favorite games. thing. Is it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Explain it further, because Ian or Lester's explanation was kind of short. Well, it's 64 bit Matthew, our good friend. Basically, they go through what games he has in his collection. He's got he's get he gets buddies. They pick a game. Uh, they challenge each other. Whoever gets first or wins a prize, and whoever gets last, either it's like the very last person or <laughs> the, last the second, game. third, and fourth. If they if whoever loses, they all have to do the challenge, which is eating gross. Gross <laughs> eating gross stuff. <laughs> Which, which is normal some of it is like normal like Asian <laughs> to, to Asians and stuff <laughs> Ian, Ian married a Filipino just so you know so he, he's not squid leg yeah. oh delicious but it's, it's <laughs> funny watching them play they're, they're just hilarious they are funny guys and they're, they're kind of drunk you can tell well they're yeah they gotta beers. they gotta work up to like to taking these challenges they need like a quail egg which my mom used that all the time yeah. 
sardine can, the hot sauce. What shots. I love is uh, his bu- his buddy Caden like, hates eggs. He said in one video, yeah. and he's had two two challenges where the penalty was like eggs. A- egg involved, right? He had to drink a raw the rocky challenge. The rocky drink a challenge. raw egg. <laughs> yeah. That's that's not he, even he, safe. He downed one, and then he went to do another one. Oh, but damn. yeah, just watch, just watch his videos. You have so to good. watch it. You know what? That brings up a point though, because like sixty four with Matthew. When we started on YouTube, he was already established, and he used to get like a thousand video views, whatever. He was doing pick up videos like every week, right? Mm-hmm. Which obviously is your bread and butter. Yes. Yeah. I think people maybe got sick of it. There's not as much of it out anymore. But we don't do that anymore. No. Why? Yeah. Because we're part of it, man. <laughs> because no, our, our game hunting for us is kind of dead. Like we shot a pick up video. You guys saw it. It's been up. Oh man. But we hadn't done one in a while, so I was like, okay, I got. A box full of stuff we could do a video like because yeah. that was kind of our bread and butter and now it's we've gone away from that yeah. like we peaked I like at doing season this. two you know this is fun because that's when it was still we new really and did. fresh uh, yeah. to be honest but really in r- game hunting for me when we started youtube that was almost like the tail end already of my collecting collecting because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. i was already got tons of stuff if i had started when i started collecting it would have been like a bitter longer journey right yeah. but it feels like yeah after season three after three, well, we were done we're done. There's so. nothing else. I'm just picking up games for the sake of picking up games because yeah. they're cheap. And, like, you know how we do the segments, the best pickup of the video? If I did a pickup video like today, that would be just blank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd, be all, it'd be all, no, yeah, it'd be all like uh, shelf padding. Yeah. It'd be all shelf padding right now. That's still fun going out there. Like, and, yeah. when, and when you're buying these, like, random $5 games, yeah. some of them are decent, actually, but. Maybe this to get is a game now for five bucks, that's kind of like the new like dollar yeah. here. Like it used to buy games for a buck or two bucks. Is this gamer fatigue? Now it's five dollars. Is this gamer fatigue? It's more of uh, game hunting fatigue. Game hunt fatigue. Game hunting know. fatigue. More of uh, it's there's the too much competition outside now. Really. It's the market. The competition, the awareness, the like mm-hmm. social media. I like people to get games that they want, right? Like I'm not yeah. gonna get a game if I have it already. I don't need it. Why would I go for it again, right? It's just getting harder to get the games you want because there's more people looking for. Them yeah, now, maybe. You know? I don't want to say the competition discouraged me, but I'm just, uh, I have everything I've wanted. Yeah. I'll just leave it yeah. at that. Well, I'm no, so no, sick of so like watching. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it's just like we sacrificed our video views. Or we do podcast videos. Because this, well, we enjoy, I, we enjoy yeah. this more than doing pickup videos for the sake of doing pickup videos. And the discussions Plus, that this it, generates. It's, yeah. It's great. Better. We yeah. know what we're doing. Like, Here's a game. And well, you can see in my, but it's stuff. always fun. Because my eyes are like dead. Eh? Like, here's yeah. a game. Yeah, that's why I don't do CD. <laughs> you ever see that? Uh, I think what's it called? Modern Family. And like the wife is like, I laugh, but it's in the eyes. You can see I'm not really laughing. She's like, Oh, when they like, <laughs> burn. <laughs> like people wonder what happened to Lester's CD pickups. I've been picking them up, but at the same just time, do why don't you like, shoot them? Cause it's like. You got lots of CDs. No, how I feel about the video games right now, you show a game, she's like, oh man. It's the same think, thing for you with CDs now? Yeah. Oh no, I've been or... finding stuff like that like, there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Like, it's to the point where I don't want to show them because once someone knows that like a CD is like 30 bucks, you know, I don't want They're going to go out looking just... for it. The price will get hyped up yeah, again. Exactly. Yeah. Especially when I find stuff for like two bucks and stuff like yeah. that. So I'm kind of afraid. We don't really want to contribute it, to that anymore, exactly. I guess. <laughs> yeah, there, it has been picking up with CD pickups for other people online. I've noticed that. And they've been finding gems. I get jealous. Okay. Like, yeah. I think maybe one of the biggest things, and we talk about this because game hunting for us is kind of dead. That's why the pickup videos that used to be our bread and butter, we used to have fun making them. Mm-hmm. That's kind of dying down because we're not finding as much and not as yeah. good. I think it's the family for games. me too, though. That oh, too, exactly. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, for I'm sure. I'm not single guy. I never really was, but, but just the time I'm home. Yeah. A child. Like it's it's more of a pain to get her dressed and go to the thrift store to find nothing. <laughs> yeah. Before, yeah. like, all right, I'll go to the thrift store. I'll find one thing out of four. Yeah. I find nothing out of four, or it's behind glass on auction. Well, also, oh, it's kind of it's winter. It's harder to get right. Even like, if it in, wasn't in the summer, you could like mm. you could walk her to. Yeah, I'm, I'm lazy. I wouldn't walk. <laughs> it's not that far. Okay, let's. Place. Why? When was the last time you actually went out for a full day? I can't even remember. Like actual full day, like from like nine a.m. to like dinner. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been. A long hey, time. I'm gonna be. We should really do it. Back video. to gaming gladiator though. Mm-hmm. I might be a future contestant. Gonna lose. Sixty four, but Matthew isn't <laughs> afraid of a big Filipino in his house. Are you actually going to his house? I don't know. I, I'm trying to hint at him. I'm hinting at him. Yeah. So he's about 45 minutes from Brandon. Okay. So I was hinting at him in texts. <laughs> <It's gonna lose. laughs> to go to his house and be on Gaming Gladiator. 
Loser eats balut. You guys should do like ah, wrestling. You, uh, shit, don't delicious. You. You, you guys should do like uh, wrestling vignettes, man. Like, that'd be oh, so that'd be hilarious. Like, Matt, okay, we'll do it, Matt. If you come, or you can come to my hotel room, and we'll do gaming gladiators in my hotel room. Nice. Loser has to jump in the pool eating balut. <laughs> Gross. You know they have that on uh, Fear Factor. Oh man, yeah, balut oh, on really? Fear Factor. I bet your wife's like, that looks like a good batch there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mm. nice and crunchy. Segway, segway into our. Next uh, video, the last video we'll talk about here is CJ put up his 2016 game room tour a long time ago, actually. Mm -hmm. It's kind of short because really nothing's changed in his game room. Mm -hmm. but I, I think he still has one of the best game rooms on YouTube. It's beautiful. I can sit down there and chill. Yeah. You I seen like it, it last year? Yes, I have. You like it? I love it. Segwaying to that for some reason, Beater, we'll go into the Beer. comments oh, on our geez, last Beer. video. Yeah. But no, CJR, he, he went from like gaming, gaming, tech, music, gaming, tech, music, Beer. And beer. He's in beer now. So last year, or Ian in his pickup video, <laughs> what was your favorite beer? It was Asahi. Asahi. Which, which I, like I said in the video, I've been drinking it for about 10 years. Every now and then I pick some up. Yeah. And Kid Shoryuken, being in Japan, it's one of his favorite beers. And it's just, it's a good beer. Like, do we want to, do we want to talk about beer? We'll talk about it's beer. It's his favorite beer, mm -hmm. apparently. Like, What's your favorite beer? Comment below. I want to know what everyone's favorite beer is when they yeah. play. I don't drink beer, so uh, fucking A&W. Maybe not even just beer. Like a and W Whiskey, Root Beer, motherfucker. Scotch, That's the shit. What, what do you what drink? What drink do you drink? No, like, man, what what refreshes Energy you? drink, anything. What's your drink of choice when you sit down to play uh, a game? No, I want to know what your favorite beer Because beer is okay, huge beer. right now. Beer crafting and all that crap. Craft beer. Acai, yeah. whatever is your favorite beer? It's not my favorite beer. No, what's your favorite just, beer? I love it. Well, right now... My current beer of choice is Bone Shaker. It's a uh, unfiltered IPA. Uh, it's thick. It's you like oh, it? You recommend hoppy, people, people should drink it while they game? Should they drink it while they game? I would. I just love it. You That'd know, be cool, man. Lesser? Mine? Yeah. I usually just drink Coronas, man. But that's when I'm out for wings. on top? Yeah. That's yeah. only when I'm out for wings or whatever. Yeah. I've been to, you know, like Barley Brothers and things like that and had, like, yeah. stuff off tap and stuff. But usually I forget the names of whatever the hell they're drinking, right? And I'm always like, driving people home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of a scotch guy now. Like, I love yeah. my beer, so I'll get my craft beers. And then I'll have my glass of scotch, which is nice. Yeah. But comment below, what's your drink, guys? What do you drink? Mm -hmm. A&W Diet Root Beer. That's, I'm, I'm water. Fucking, I'm addicted to that <laughs> shit, man. Hey, you, what's your favorite beer? I don't have a favorite beer. You said beer. you want to hear beer. But light beer? lime. There I you drink go. that sometimes in summer. Fucking delicious and refreshing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he likes that. He I likes love. the yeah the, the non-beer beers done guy. the non-beer like beers. I can't tolerate that shit. My yeah. Asian blood, man. Yeah. But well, you said you wanted to hear about beers. No, nah, I did. I want to hear what beer. people like to drink. Like, <laughs> it's a huge thing. Yeah. If I I have to have like one beer at a time, so it better be the best damn beer. Yeah, burning toys. Burning toys always has a drink in his hand. Oh yeah. Usually too. <laughs> they also like cheap beers. <laughs> hey, this is my cold. Uh, yeah. Stone games cold. And drink lucky. Yeah. A oh, lucky geez. beer. That's a good shit. Oh, <laughs> lucky. Yeah, lucky is so cheap. Man. Lucky lager. I could get. Up. Shout out! It's bad though. You feel, yeah, just feel like is. shit. Yeah, after. You do. It sucks, man. Boxer, There's a difference ale. between like beer, well-made beer, <laughs> and just like the, the shitty cheap beer. You, yeah, like I don't get hangovers, but my guts feel it the next yeah, day. Exactly. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, gassy enough of beer too. talk. Yeah, man. Lucky oh, me. Moving on. Gassy. Right now, sorry, <laughs> we didn't explain it to people. We're actually talking, responding to comments people left, and these are comments from the uh, Monday Nitro pickups. Uh, casting coach edition uh, with Ian, the first timer. Yeah. Uh, shout out to David Birch, always commenting on our videos. What's you up, rock, dude? Homie, yeah, thank man. you. He, so uh, positive, love it. Yeah. What did he comment? That Zelda HD presentation looks amazing. It did look. It really did. Nice. I, I just as soon as I got it, I'm like, you open it up I yet? Got, no, not yet. Really what do you want to do a video about that sometime? Not today, but we not should. today. But yeah, you can you, you can be the one. Open That's it. mostly just a shout out to him. Though. Yeah. Thanks for always commenting, man. Mm -hmm. Always uh, positive. Oh, what's it called? The Gaming File. I still don't like that name. It sounds too close to another word that I don't like. A pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what he was trying to go at. Gaming what did file. He, he say? loves molesting what did he say? games. Oh, yeah. He said Lester is the new beard man. He yeah. is. Oh, you yeah. should feel this thing, ladies. Softer. Yeah. It, Soft. It tickles. <laughs> it's like touching a Care Bear. <laughs> It tickles down Lester, there, yeah. man. He's, he's got power. the scruff going. He's got the hair going. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at this guy. F, few, I don't know what. E F W E F W E F. Like he just wanted yeah. this on the computer. Yeah. 
<laughs> Lester might have issues boarding a plane. In the future. <laughs> <laughs> With today's socioeconomic times, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be yeah, surprised, man. especially if Trump was president. If Trump's yeah. president, you wouldn't be able to go to the states for a visit. No. You know who I'm voting for? <laughs> Scotty D, baby. Oh yeah. He's gonna rule America. <laughs> He's gonna rule America. Yeah. Scotty Dupirio. He reported one of our comments. God damn. He accidentally what? reported it. Oh really? You know when you like you get spam comments? And yeah. It's like it's either spam or not. Yeah. I think he accidentally put yes. This is spam. Oh jeez. And he's like, sorry guys, uh, I accidentally put one of your comments as spam. Oh good. Well, That's all now we know where we stand with him. <laughs> no. <laughs> he hasn't commented much either. The same. Just oh, he's saying. Cute. A lot of people liked Act Razor. Thought it was an amazing game as a kid. Mm-hmm. Okay, what other games did we play? What the hell was that? Oh, it's just uh, the wind. Oh. Okay. The snow oh. <laughs> Ian, childhood staple in the Super Nintendo era. Two of them you can talk about right now. Because well, I know Ian will probably go off on like a million games. Well, no, I'd obviously say like Super Mario World. Oh, that's a staple. That that game was just perfect. That was know? a perfect game. We were actually just watching some dude beat it in 15 minutes. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, well, actually, we, we turned on the video and he was already like... At the Bowser stage. Bow stage done. So we didn't see the whole Well, that thing, game was like... perfectly crafted. Nintendo always does a good job mm-hmm. with their own licenses, man. Yeah. Esther loved that game. Mm-hmm. You said that was a perfect game, too. Yep. Well, or the closest thing you would ever have. Yeah, if I ever had to a perfect game. choice from Super Nintendo. Yeah. Should they re-release that game in HD? Like, officially? No, yeah, just emulate it. I know, but still. <laughs> right? have, uh... Wouldn't it be cool if it was on the, the NX or whatever? That'd be cool. I guess so. Or even on the like Wii U, I... I'll take it. Yeah. Another game that you think people haven't played yet. That people haven't played that. the Super Nintendo era that we grew up, you know, kind of together. Oh, geez. I'll I ask you the same thing, Lester. Yeah, yeah, this. Well, guys, Lester, what's your childhood safe? Yeah, go. And you Mario can... Kart, only because me and my brother first would one? just have battles. Yeah, that's me. Like, if someone said, what's your favorite Mario Kart? It's the original. Really? I, I, I hate the other ones. I don't mind them. Maybe the closest one would be the GameCube, though. The GameCube one. GameCube one's, one's like uh, yeah. Double Dash? Yeah. yeah. That's a lot solid. Of people, a lot that's of people solid. would say the N64. That one's clean. It's like... Overall, Look at Lester's big ass smile. I, mean, no, I, mean, no, no. No. I know what you mean yeah. about the SNES version. Like I yeah, played that with original. my best friend a bunch, and it I was, love that yeah, game. just yeah. It's, it's the most simple. The yeah, it's the most simple, and it's to the point where so many people like you grew up with played it so much yeah. that it's very very. Oh, you should see and battle mode. Like, yeah. you know, in battle the city, mode. battle mode now. Is, sorry, go ahead. Is gonna, sorry. No, go battle ahead. mode now. Like, in, if anyone's played the Wii U one, mm-hmm. the game is fantastic. Yeah. But the battle mode is shit. You're just basically going around the tracks that are in the game doing battle mode instead of like set no, maps. I don't know if they're gonna. Oh, that's what it is. Or... That's yeah. bunk. No. It's so bunk. So I was gonna say the original we have here in Winnipeg, it's crazy. Like, we had a competition at our convention. Right? Yes. Fastest lap time? Yeah. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Fastest wow. lap for and... Mario Circuit 1, the very first. You should watch him though. Yeah. He's super technical. Like, Donkey Kong never is got actually off the, the, court the best he... character. Yeah, as long as he doesn't slow down, right? Yeah. He never touched the wall. This guy came like this close to walls. But that's, unfazed, man. Yeah, unfazed. Yeah. Oh, that's such a technical game. Very so, good. Two games, I guess. Are your second game that you recommend to people that they probably never played. That they probably never, never played. played. That oh, should be a staple for everyone. Like a game that most of the community ignores. Whew. You think of it yet, Ian? I, I, no, because I'm listening to it. What, okay, what's your staple game? Oh, my staple game? Donkey Kong Country. Yes. That so came back in with me. Too. B-A-R-R-A-L, man. That's, yeah. Oh, I can still play that game. Day, barrel, Makes me feel yeah. good. Like, yeah. Honestly, it was a back in the time when my parents weren't getting along, though. Mm-hmm. So I used to escape by playing a lot of Donkey Kong. So, like, they, they so when, we, stuff. when we first got a Super Nintendo in my household, like obviously I played it with friends at their place and stuff. Mm-hmm. We got it for Christmas one year, and we got Donkey Kong Country. My sister oh, bought the game for game. us. And oh, you got it separate? Yes. Okay, this is, well, I got in on the Super Nintendo late. You probably didn't. <laughs> no, you we, got in when it was... We got in, uh, like, maybe Super a couple, Nintendo. two years maybe after it came okay, out. Okay, because that's when the Donkey Kong pack came out. That's why yeah. I got that one. Yeah, my parents were fighting a lot. So they bought me no, it's like they bought us the console. Yeah, with uh, I think it came with All Stars and Mario World yeah. or something. It came with that, and my sister bought us Donkey Kong Country by yeah. itself. So it came together. Oh, you're lucky. But, you're rich, but we got it late. Like, rich kid, here. rich no. kid. <laughs> rich that was a present for all. Two of games at Christmas. For the whole family, man. Oh, my, and my oh, sister man, was. Man. My, my sister got it too. My older sister, she was. <laughs> Her, she's ten years older than us, so oh, yeah. she she was like just in like her working phase in university and all that. Hi, stuff, Ian's so. sister. <laughs> one of my four sisters she used to have a crush Anyways. on you. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, it was, Which one? All of them. So Donkey Donkey <laughs> Kong Country that was a staple. For oh my god, sure. that's still a beautiful and game. Number two, music. Number two, when that came out, that's. But isn't it crazy that my like favorite overall? Like games like that, when you play them, I think that's why people have such a strong attachment. To me, it was like 
that made me happy because my parents were fighting. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I used to play this in my grandma's basement because obviously we weren't at home. Obviously, place. video games are a, but, an escape. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, I love that. That's game. one thing that drew me into RPGs is they were so in-depth. Oh, and you could escape for a long period of time and just this whole... Well, that's the thing I think these about... characters that you... RPGs back then, mm -hmm. they're so attached, like Final Fantasy 2, because they're 16-bit, right? Mm -hmm. But in your mind, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. Now everything shit. is becoming real. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And in know. my head, it's like, man, this is awesome. Because you're imagining it. Yeah. You're putting mm -hmm. your imagination into the game. Where today, it's not playing anything. But it's, it's like good. drawn it's lazy. for you. It's already. lazy. Yeah. yeah. It's drawn for you. Right that's why now. I think kids are going to be less creative. You think so? I have a feeling. I don't know. Unless they go backwards. Because they have more start... tools than we had. I guess. So, I don't know. It, I could be wrong. It's just a thought. Man. But a lot of kids I, I've seen nowadays, very cookie cutter kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like iPhone 6. Because it takes <laughs> HD pictures. <laughs> Look at these pictures I'm taking. I'm like, yeah, what filter did you use? Valencia? Oh, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> uh, okay. Good composition. Oh, the computer did it for you. Great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, a game that I think people haven't played that they should play, Brawl Brothers. That was my beat 'em up growing up. I rented it a lot. Yeah. I love that game. It's, it's like a twenty dollar game nowadays, which I think it should be cheaper than that. But no, it's a good beat 'em up. Play it. Really simple. You don't have to think too much. Good music. Yeah. I'm you play one? one, man. I never played it. SWAT Cats was another game people played growing up. That was pretty fun. I don't play SWAT. Cats. That's a Hanna Barbera yeah. game. Or. License yeah. is it? Yep. Okay. It's crazy because you don't think of them doing like action stuff. Yeah. yeah. They had SWAT cats. Can't think of one. Can I, I can't. I'm, I'm like thinking like maybe Phalanx or like Cyber Phalanx. Yeah, people don't really. No one ever talks about Phalanx. Axley, Axley yeah. is good. Uh, like Axley, Ian will probably okay. say UN Squadron. Or UN Squadron. Yeah. yeah see, yeah, I like... I skipped that game so many times, and this guy bought it. I'm like, why did you buy Un Squadron? <laughs> <laughs> I I borrowed it from a friend back it's in like game. I don't know, junior high, high school, and just. Played the crap out of it. It's a good. I think people should play yeah, that game. It's a good. Game. I never played it until this guy bought Pure it. Pure frustration. Yeah. Man. Oh, but it's. I like the characters in that game is really cool too. Yeah. The Final. Weapon, no, uh, people play Final Fight. Weapon upgrades and stuff like yeah. that. Did Lester come up with one yet? Phalanx. Phalanx. Yeah. No shoot 'em up. It's exactly just like. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you know, back in the day, people hated shoot 'em ups because they're boring. But now Most things like, like going back to Japan, shmups and RPGs are a dime a dozen, so they're like. Mill millions of them out there mm -hmm. and we got like a select few of them here so i don't know i guess like you said they weren't as popular nobody no. really cared for them that much but i don't think I don't so know. it, it he... wasn't uh people love platformers like back in the day when we were kids mm -hmm. it was more oh hmm? speaking of platformers lion king man oh well, lion king, yeah, yeah. that was good that was a good game anyway that was a fun game say, yeah. aladdin on sega genesis too yeah. same vein I like Beauty and the Beast on SNES. Yeah, man. I mean, that one is pretty Once weak, we got man. into it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just we, I, we borrowed that. I borrowed that from a friend before, and it just, yeah, we got through it. I don't know. It was fun. And the Power Rangers games? Okay, see, now they're all, like, coming in. Oh, they're, they're, Power they're Rangers games? Yeah. Even the non-movie one was good, I yeah. thought. And that's undervalued right now. Mm -hmm. Good beat em up Sorry. You don't get to uh, power up until after. Go ahead. I gotta ignore just this. pick it up. Pick Whatever. It up. I'm not going to answer the phone right now. Sorry guys, just to let you know, this video is brought to you by Hammer and Barrel. <laughs> New t-shirt company uh, coming out. I don't know the guy who makes it, but man, this guy's dope. Oh, Check him out. Okay. Giving game, we're supporting gamers in the lo <laughs> by supporting gamers, gamers. Support gamers. It is. We're supporting. <laughs> we have a crew of uh, Smash players. We're sponsoring local Winnipeg kids to go out in Toronto and play. Sweet. Represent the city. Going to Toronto, eh? Damn. Yeah, man. Janos isn't in that team though. No, he doesn't play no more. I don't think. <laughs> but no, we're sponsoring some kids. You know, we we wanna. Do it for the community. We want like we support this guy's a local artist who made this shirt. This is our inverse version. It's just a test uh, print of the shirt. Yeah, but stay tuned. We'll be having like press kits and stuff to be giving away on this channel. Uh, CJR said he would do some promotion with me, talking That's with cool, some other man. channels too. And it's all like gonna be good for a good cause because the majority of like the profits we make will go to charity, and mm -hmm. it's kind of like you know the gamer community giving back to something. Yeah. Wu Tang is for the children. Yeah. <laughs> Hammer and Barrel is for the children. <laughs> Anyways, we were thinking of our top three or top five lists that we always end our podcast with. But since this is kind of off the cuff, we don't really have a set script. Yeah. Ian came up with what, Ian? Uh, just basically each of our top game of last year, 2015. What was your, your favorite so game to play? Can this be considered a top three game? This could be a top three because I'm sure we're all going to have a different yeah. game to, yeah. to say. I only really had a few. but No, the 2015 overall in gaming, what did it mean to you? Well, 2015 was, I guess, I just got my PS4. So my top game 
that I just played a shit ton of. I'm gonna say Bloodborne. Bloodborne is your best game of 2015. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't just, think that made a lot of people's lists. Probably not. Okay. It's uh, it's I don't the know. hardcore it, man. It's kind of for it's yeah. it's like a Souls game, right? So you gotta be a glutton for punishment a little bit. Uh, it's probably not as hard as like the Dark Souls game, but it's challenging. There's not. You get a lot of the story based on like items you pick up. You kind of read about them. They don't really. You don't. You don't get shown this through. Uh, like cutscenes or anything that as much you kind of got to read item descriptions mm. to kind of get a little bit of the it back makes sense now game. why Ian likes this game yeah. <laughs> I ended up buying it I didn't even reading. he didn't play it I man. only played like the I first 15 play it. Minutes. it looks good I it looks loved like, it man like, it reminded me I of like uh, go back to it. Devil May Cry almost the type of action not not as much as like the combo yeah. type no, thing no, in there, but like but the, the big action, the strategic uh, you get going through places. You got gigantic sights yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It looked really cool. Like the weapons. Are you look awesome. at the game and you can tell it's the yeah. Bloodborne is its own IP. Yeah. Right? That, it, that was my favorite game to play last year. Yeah, it looked really dark. I thought. Oh yeah, I didn't it's, know where you were gothic, going half the time. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, but it looked really good. It's all good. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Comment below. Did you like Bloodborne? Tell us which of the three here. Who had the best game pick of 2015? Oh, jeez. <laughs> what did 2015 mean to you, Lester? And what was your favorite game of 2015? 2015 had a variety of everything, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, you had your fighting games, you had your racing games. What fighting games last stuff. year? This is like Guilty Gear. Guilty oh. Gear. Dead or Alive. Um, man, Blaze Blue came out. There's a lot of games. But, um... <laughs> Sorry. Man, Rocket League, that's not a fighting game. It doesn't have to be a fighting game. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. It's but, just your favorite uh, game of last year. That's a good game. Man, that's there was right one now. game... It technically came out in 2014 for the PC, but they finally put it out on the uh, PS4 in 2015. So I was going to say Ask to Breed. It's a mech shoot 'em up game. Uh, oh, man. It's made by a Japanese uh, indie developer, uh, Edelweiss, I think. Mm. And, oh, man. If you're into, like, Zone of Enders and games like that, yeah, hmm. and Raiden and stuff, yeah, it's How basically come I never like heard that. you talk about this game before? I've never, yeah, I've never <laughs> heard of this keep, game I once. keep that stuff to myself. But you man. played the shit out of that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, there's only six stages, though. <laughs> keep it warning, to myself. Like, warning people, there's only it's six sharing. stages. So if you're going to pay 20 bucks for this game, honestly, it's not worth it for just six stages. I think 2015 but, is the year Lester went digital. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. You said fuck physical media? Fuck fi- well, now? fuck physical media for the new system. New because gen consoles, because console gaming... And I said it's it's almost dead. It's dead. The physical games are installing them anyways, so why not download it so you don't have to put a disc in every time you want to play That's it? True. You know, it, yeah. Yeah. Add something for me of all. If you're gonna have a console though. game, it should be powerful enough to play the game off a disc. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It's it, yeah. it, it's That's to the weak. point where I was telling these guys, why don't we just share one account <laughs> and then distribute everything between us? Yeah. Only because one of the games are expensive and everything, and. You digital know, sales, man. Digital sales, and in terms of, uh, like, do we really want the physical copy of the game? That's the thing. Eh, some people I do. usually, yeah. for if me, I would really, say yes really normally. Like it, yeah. I always say yes, I want the physical, yeah. but it's just... Well, that's why I like, like Nintendo when they release a physical game. It comes yeah. with a golden amiibo. Exactly. <laughs> but, like, but like I said in the in the pickup video, if Nintendo made all their games with, like, collectible items and, yeah. and not just limit them, just have collectibles of everything, their sales would be great. Give you a reason to buy the physical copy. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. And that's and that's why a lot of uh, developers still release like special editions with physical stuff because they know they could get our money with yeah. that, right? But now you get collectors editions of stuff. It comes with physical like statue books, whatever. But then it's a code for like a game to, to download the game. Uh, you know, geez, that's, that's, that's annoying. Game. That's really annoying, yeah. actually. I have to admit, I don't know, man. Twenty fifteen for me. I actually started playing my PS4 with games because 2014 was like a YouTube machine, right, basically. Uh, two games that I bought last year, but my favorite had to be... Metal Gear Solid Five came out last year, right? Yeah, Phantom Pain. Phantom Pain, that's my that's your favorite. Favorite. That game I put a lot of hours into. I really liked it. The beginning or the end of Metal Gear Solid, however you want to view it. The beginning of Big Boss. I don't know. I thought you would really care about this game. Because okay. you, you would play Metal Gear Solid Five. I... When are we growing up? I like I like the fan or not the fan thing, but um, Ground Zeroes. Mm-hmm. And when Phantom Pain came out, I didn't like how they had them in the the missions, but they're like in episodes, so it felt like you're watching a TV show. Are you sure not multi part? What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> just I just saw those comments like a couple of days ago. Oh, it's his anyway. Anyway. Well, you know, kind of shout yeah. out to him. We got we got in like a Something little discussion. O'Neal, Shaquille O'Neal. The difference between 
multi-part series and episodic, which I thought they were the same. They are the same thing. We it's kind a of series. At, at the end, we kind of semantics. At, uh, yeah, at the end of it, we kind of like agreed that they're similar. Handshakes. But really, no. But honestly, <laughs> don't like, worry about those. For me, twenty fifteen, <laughs> that's a huge year for Metal Gear Solid Five. No, that's the last. I think this is the last. That was the last good year for Konami. I don't know. They have so many licenses that they can draw it's upon funny. too. I think yeah, but it's it's done. Metal Gear, that's huge for me. It's the beginning of Big Boss, and you empathize with the bad guy. I still have to play it. I gotta buy it off. You don't there. care. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't care. Oh man, for me, I honestly, I played the game. The game man. Halfway, I'm, yeah, and I stopped because gaming fatigue. You know what? <laughs> yeah, seriously, like how it was broken I up. I didn't like was how great. it was broken. Yeah, it, it's a cool idea. But I'm like, man, they I want the whole it, experience, man. They needed to do it for today's to gaming. Why? If you have short attention It's more span. realistic to me because like, you're in charge of Mother Base. I know. So you can go do missions cool and build Mother but, Base. Man. That's awesome. Why, are we going to argue again? <laughs> no. We'll talk about it at the end, but no, I thought I, it was... I'm so used to Metal Gear being like a whole experience. Like a movie. Yeah, this that's didn't fair feel enough. like that's your that's opinion. About it. That's fine. But it's cool, man. Like if I knew it was his 2015 game of the year. Seriously, he played it. Like, I had tears had no coming life, down, man. Like, and that's all he. Would we talk actually about did for, like, a, a stream of yeah. it when 64 Matt, yeah, 64 bit Matt was in town, yeah. and we did like a. Did we do Twitch or was it YouTube gaming? YouTube gaming. YouTube gaming. And we had, I don't like, do discussions yeah. and. No, yeah. man, that's a, it. Was that's a solid game. Yeah. I thought Kojima, the least like super abstract. Like it's very poetic when they talk about. The beauty of war and everything like that. Mm-hmm. For me, that's very poetic. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't understand what he's talking about, but I feel it. <laughs> so that's art. Anyways, Metal Gear Solid Five. I wanted to see Mario Maker too. Fulfilled one of my lifetime fantasies to make Mario yeah. levels. Love that game <laughs> for 2015, but it's still Metal Gear Solid Five. Comment below, what is your game of last year? What did gaming in 2015 mean for you? So that's our top three between us. Bloodborne, MGS5, and Astabreed. Astabreed. There you go, man. Well, comment below. What did you think of that list? That's probably a good list. Well, good, what man. was your favorite game of 2015? I just yeah. asked him that. Yeah. Answer, just asked answer him. Ian. <laughs> answer me because I asked him most recently. Ask You asked me. No. What's your favorite game of 2015? <laughs> My favorite game was Lester. <laughs> <laughs> Played him like oh, crazy. Geez. Anyways, that's the end of our podcast. We can talk about whatever you want. We got like five minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll I didn't know they had a set. Well, so, usually about an hour, right? Yeah. Then we who's, gotta drive you to work. Right? I gotta go to work. Who's playing the division? Seems like everyone's playing that damn game. We just watched a Twitch stream of the division. Yes, yeah. we did. I forgot to get that guy's name. Yeah, he was pretty funny. Oh wait, funny. sorry. Retro City Rabble. Our good oh, friends at River City, R- Retro, River City Gaming. Retro Gaming. River City Rabble. Check them out. They do their own podcast. I wonder where they got that idea from. <laughs> rabble, 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 rabble. <laughs> Shots fired. We, all, yeah. we, like, we always troll no, on them. They're our buddies. Ed, for some reason, Ed and I have like this mental connection. And like, I want to do a podcast. <gasps> Me too. <laughs> so check it out. If they do like a full just audio podcast, yeah, and it looks like Terrence and Philip on their thing, but it's it's not bad. I listen yeah. to the whole thing. It's pretty good. Yeah, you know, um, they talk about very in depth, more in depth than we go. Yeah, very technical. We, I I think they probably kind of. So you kind of kind of blindside us with topics sometimes. So it's off the top of our heads, right? And you don't get a chance to kind of like elaborate elaborate on things. things. Yeah. It's just your your first reaction. Them, you could tell they've they've kind of researched it a bit and they they have these deeper discussions well, about the, it. Right? If you're, like the thing is, if I'm going to be moderating, a, there should always be a moderator on a podcast. Mm-hmm. It's one of the rules. So that way it doesn't go everywhere. The moderator really is in charge of giving the background information for everything yes. we're talking about. But I like the off the cuff thing because. The first reaction is always the best one, yeah. mm-hmm. right? And it makes you think off the top of your head. And you know this is real because we don't we don't plan what we're talking <laughs> yeah, about. No, my my lo- I would love is for one of these guys to, to moderate a podcast. Yeah, I think Ian's day. probably going to be the closest to doing that because somebody <laughs> is too busy in life. Moderate one. I should. I don't yeah. even know what I. It'll be like the most about. complicated questions. What is your Theory on the frames per second bit rate of the latest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of PlayStation VR? What? I didn't know. I'm it hyped, that. man. Okay, we'll talk about that. We'll, that'll podcast. be one of yours. There you go. Save yeah. it. Moderate it. Do whatever. If you don't like the the system I've created, make your own. No, it's exactly. You know what it reminds me of? It yeah. reminds me of uh, what's that the show? Man, uh, PTI. Pardon the interruption. Oh, pardon the interruption. Yeah. I wish oh, we, we had ours is exactly Can we like have that. a two minute timer? That'd be we cool. We should do a timer. For, yeah. We'll have one segment. We'll do a timer. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to. There's no mute button though. We don't have a mute button. Shout out to Retro Robbie, by the way. Retro Robbie. Yeah, I created Retro Ninja Robbie. Gaiden. 
That Did was you a hear? good fight, by Naked the way. Naked and Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Very technical. People are very hard on Conor McGregor. They said he doesn't have jiu-jitsu. Guy got knocked out pretty much on his feet when he shot, okay? That's not a fair representation of his jits. If you look in round one, he had pretty good jiu-jitsu defense. Yeah. So you can't say the guy doesn't know jiu-jitsu. But he got choked out by, like, one of the greatest well, yeah. jiu-jitsu fighters in yeah. the UFC. Like, that's hard to dispute. Anyways. <laughs> Respect, man. The dude stepped up 20 pounds. Whatever. That's one. <laughs> I, d- I just can't believe people were counting out Did you, Conor McGregor. What were the details of the bet? Oh, the, no, it was just like, just Retro Robbie has to go online and make a video calling me the champ. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, every day. And shout me out. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. So, check out Retro Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can't go against Diaz brothers, man. They're the shit. They talk a lot of smack. They were doing what Conor McGregor's been doing, like, 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. They don't get love, but Connor gets love. Yeah, makes no sense. Stopped and slap. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got to talk about. Right. My chest is empty. That's good. Anything? I'm good. I'm good. good. Yeah. Do good. the outro, Lester. Facebook.com slash Thrift Dwellers, the highest internet website on the internet today. Who is this kid? Look at his game room. It looks... Look at him uh, just twirling. <laughs> Where's his lava lamp? Is that a rich kid? I don't think he's That's rich. clean. What kind of... I wish a teenage kid, kid has a room that cool. Oh, a kid who watches a lot of YouTube. How does this kid have like dual monitors? Set he got up a freaking stuff. wallpaper. And he has a cast on. Why? Back in the day, kids when... beat him up at school. Yo, you're too rich. No. <laughs> Why can't you just say everybody's so rich? <laughs> just because that you know, last gamer. That what dude. a kid. We didn't grow up with any of this stuff, man. I had a like... computer. <laughs> he didn't look as good as that kid's computer. Wait, come on. I and had he's a got TV. The, this. Oh, is that signed by a YouTuber? Or I don't know. Time? Check out this kid's know. channel. <laughs> I don't know who that hater, is. Man. If you know who that is, comment. I'm not a hater. Thank like, you guys very much for watching. Yeah, Did you tell thanks. him where to go already? Yeah, just go to Facebook, man. <laughs> Find us there. Find me on Instagram. Thrift Dollars with an S. At Thrift Dollar Nate. Find Ian on... <laughs> Nothing, man. Yeah. Yes, we should get a... Oh, at Thrift Dollars is our Twitter. Yeah. Mm. Follow you handle that, right? At Hammer and Barrel. I don't do Twitter. I just do Instagram. No. Hammer and Barrel coming soon. Let us know if you want sponsorship for your Twitch channels or whatever. Not a big company, but hey, we're trying to do good things. Like you said, we'll be making press kits. Press kits for for the masses. 